so you know that about heart the physiology and all so i'll give you a brief uh, explanation regarding the physiology first followed by how the blood flows through the heart okay how it helps uh, with carrying the deoxygenated blood and then can tra transferring to the oxygenated blood to the other parts of the body shall we start yeah yes ma'am yes ma'am so yes, you know in heart there are four different chambers right we have got the right atrium right ventricle left atrium and left ventricle so these are the four different portions i would say in the heart okay the four chambers are heart remember the right atrium right ventricle left atrium and left ventricle in between the right atrium and the right ventricle there is a valve called tricuspid valve okay the tricuspid valve the main function is to prevent the backflow of the blood back into right atrium it actually prevents the backflow of the blood from back to the right atrium there is another valve which is in between the left atrium and the left ventricle we call it as bicuspid valve there is another name for bicuspid valve which is called as mitral valve the main function of the mitral valve or the bicuspid valve is to prevent the backflow of the blood back into the left atrium so you know that blood will be flowing in one direction say for example if you see the right atrium right ventricle this area is actually responsible for carrying the deoxygenated blood from the other parts of the body so it will be moving from right atrium through the tricuspid valve to the right ventricle so the purpose of this valve is to prevent the backflow of the blood back into the right atrium similarly the left ventricle the bicuspid valve its main function is to prevent the backflow of the blood back into the left atrium is that clear yes ma'am so remember try before you buy so remember try is first before you buy that is bicuspid so tricuspid is on the this side and bicuspid is on the other side okay then you can see there are two vena cavas here superior vena cava and inferior vena cava what they actually do is superior vena cava is responsible for carrying all the deoxygenated blood from the upper side of the body to the right side of the heart whereas inferior vena cava is responsible for uh, you know bringing all the deoxygenated blood from you know the lower part of the heart so these are the two vena cavas responsible for carrying the deoxygenated blood to the right side of the heart so as i said the right side of the heart is mainly responsible for the movement of deoxygenated blood whereas the left side is responsible for the oxygenated blood okay i'll give you with more explanation in the next slide so the valve between the right atrium and the right ventricle that is the tricuspid in order to prevent the backflow of the blood to the right atrium the valve between the left atrium and the left ventricle is the bicuspid or mitral valve which prevents the backflow of the blood to the left atrium there is one there are two more other valves pulmonary valve have you heard of pulmonary valve no yes ma'am yeah, so yes ma'am is actually located at the pulmonary artery so this is the pulmonary artery and this is the pulmonary valve hope you can see the thing which i am showing here so this pulmonary artery sorry valve which is located at the pulmonary artery helps to prevent the backflow of the blood into the right ventricle so this is the pulmonary valve which is located at the end of the pulmonary artery they prevent the backflow of the blood back into the right ventricle okay and aortic valve which is actually located here this is our aorta aortic valve is located here aortic valve it is located at the opening of the aorta prevents the backflow of the blood into the left ventricle is that clear about the valves 
Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next is right side of the heart delivers the deoxygenated blood to the lungs. So if I show you in the figure, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, they both carry the deoxygenated blood from the upper side of the heart and the lower side of the heart to the right side of the heart. That means the deoxygenated will be transporting through this right atrium. It will pass on to the tricuspid valve, then enters to the right ventricle. Then it will move through the pulmonary valve, goes out through the pulmonary artery to the lungs for the purification. I repeat, the deoxygenated blood from the upper side and the lower part of the body is being carried by superior and the inferior vena cava to the right side of the heart. So it moves through the right atrium, through the tricuspid valve, to the right ventricle then it moves through the pulmonary valve finally ends through the pulmonary artery here it will be moved towards the lungs for the purification is that step clear yes ma'am ma'am ma can you please repeat which one this one so what i was telling that superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava they are responsible for carrying the deoxygenated blood from the upper part and the lower part of the heart to the right side of the heart okay so the deoxygenated blood will move through the right atrium through the tricuspid valve to the right ventricle then it will move through the pulmonary valve towards the pulmonary artery and then it will be carried towards the lungs for purification that is a step number one okay and once after the purification is done, the oxygenated blood, the oxygenated blood, they will travel through this pulmonary veins. Can you see here? Okay, they will travel through these pulmonary veins. I think my cursor is not moving. And they will enter through the left atrium, through the bicuspid valve, to the left ventricle. It will move through the aortic valve and reaches the aorta. And this iota will be transporting the oxygenated blood to the other parts of the body. So in short, what I want to say is the right side is actually responsible for carrying the deoxygenated blood. It will be traveling through the right atrium, through the tricuspid valve, to the right ventricle, move through the pulmonary valve, enters through the pulmonary artery. Then it will be transported to the lungs for the purification. Once after the purification is done, the oxygenated blood will be transported back to the heart through the pulmonary veins, to the left atrium, to the left ventricle, enters through the aortic valve and reaches the aorta. This aorta is responsible for transporting the oxygenated blood to other parts of the body. That's how the blood flow happens in the body so when i give you the explanation here it will be more clear so we already discussed this i'll go with the next slide right side of the heart delivers the deoxygenated blood to the lungs that means it travels to right atrium through the tricuspid valve to the right ventricle and finally it moves through the pulmonary artery so that's what i said right atrium tricuspid valve, pulmonary valve to the pulmonary artery. Finally, that goes to lungs for the purification. Whereas the left side of the heart delivers the oxygenated blood to the body. That means they will travel from left atrium through the mitral valve to the left ventricle. Superior vena cava carry the deoxygenated blood from the upper part of the body to the right side of the heart whereas inferior vena cava carry deoxygenated blood from the lower part of the uh, body to the right side of the heart. Pulmonary arteries, okay, where we see, saw the pulmonary arteries, this is the pulmonary artery. Can you see on the screen pulmonary artery? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, pulmonary artery, they carry blood to the lungs. They carry blood away from the heart. Why they are doing? They are actually responsible for carrying the deoxygenated blood 
from the right side of the heart to the lungs to get it oxygenated so that's what i mentioned here the deoxygenated blood will travel from here through the tricuspid valve to the right ventricle to the pulmonary valve and the pulmonary artery is responsible for carrying this deoxygenated blood to the lungs for what for purification purpose okay hope that makes sense then pulmonary veins they carry the oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left side of the heart that means they carry blood to the heart so if you see here the pulmonary veins once after the purification is done pulmonary veins they will carry the oxygenated blood okay from the lungs through the left atrium to the bicuspid valve to the left ventricle finally they move through the aortic valve to reach aorta where the aorta will be transporting the oxygenated blood to other parts of the body so that's how it works aorta responsible to carry the oxygenated blood from the left side of the heart to the rest of the body